my dudes, I am Laddie and welcome to another video. So in this video I am a, well this is probably going to be the first video I post, we filmed another video where I was just saying reading out some hate comments with, that I get with, with my mum, it's random. But anyway, this one we're speaking about mm -hmm. how you, how you feel about the whole, uh, the whole, whole, whole trans, transgender thing. Alright. Oh, yeah. Anyway. This is my mother, Wendy Juliet Norman. Possibly. <laughs> You're smiling at me like, you can speak. I know, yeah. So, say, say hello, mother. Don't hello, uh, hello, mother. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. You have just, just as bad comedy as me. <laughs> I think that's where I get it from. Anyway, yeah, we're, should we start off with speaking about like, how I came out to you originally? Like how I said, Yo, mother, I'm transgender. Because oh, I can't, can't really remember, remember but no, I think I, I every time I've come out to you with something, I've sat on that chair, you've been sitting here and I've told you. All right. That's just how open I feel. Like I can just, you know. So like, I remember the first time I came out was bisexual years ago when I was about 14, sat down there. Mm -hmm. I said to you, I'm like, I think I am bisexual as well. Like, you know, when I thought I was a lesbian at the time, I sat down there and I was like, I like girls, just like girls. And then um, you were like, oh, okay. But then it was a bit more confusing when I was like, I want to be a boy. You're like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I remember you being like, when I was like, I want to be a boy. You're like, that doesn't make sense. What are you on about? Because <laughs> no one really knows about transgender much. Mm -hmm. Like you don't, it isn't a common thing. I just remember being like, I don't know, because it was just a bit like, hmm. Like, what, what do you mean? <laughs> you want to be a boy? And I was like, transgender, like, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm transgender. I want to be called Toby? I think I remember I remember saying, like, I want to be called Toby. Or, uh, yeah, I want to be called, um, well, my full name's Tobias. Good name, good choice. Tobias Eli Norman is what I'm going to be called when I change it properly. Really? Do you think that's a good name? That yeah. is a pretty nice yeah. name, to be fair. Yeah. But anyway, uh, I just want to know what your first initial reaction was. I mean, you may have changed now, but what was your initial reaction? Initial reaction? Like, what did you feel beforehand? Well, I don't... I didn't really feel anything that much. Nothing would surprise me. Nothing would... yeah. No. Well, I mean, just the family's bonkers in general, so... No, I don't think we are. We're pretty oh, bonkers, let's be honest. No. We'll create world we'll nut jobs. No, not at all. No. Don't harm anyone. I'm into, yeah, but we're I'm still like animals. crazy in a way. Yeah, you're into anim animals, animals, as in when yes. we walked here, you started speaking to the crows. Oh, you said, hello, crow friends. Yes. Hello. <laughs> no, I feed And then you go, like, I feed the crows. <laughs> Making like crow noises. And, cats. and like going, animals. like, car! Car! No, you I might as well stand out in the front garden. That. I did not do that. <laughs> yeah, but you might as well be. <laughs> Why not? Anyway, how it's was your, what was your harmless. first? It's harmless. What was your Looking first thing? Animals. Because I know you haven't quite been on top of it. You've said some hurtful things. I must admit. I have said a few hurtful Very, things. Very well. I mean, back when I was now a lesbian, like every time we have a fight, you use whatever my minority thing is against yeah, me. But not recently. Not as much recently, no. But at the beginning, you said mm. some hurtful things. I but how did you truly feel about it, or was it just you lashing um, out? Well, how did I feel? I can't remember how I felt then, really. I'm just, you know. How did you feel like... Process, process. I, I wasn't shocked or anything like about that. But like, how? well then, how do you feel in general? Now? Yeah. What will be, will be. It's, you know. But like, truthfully, like you were saying mm. the other day, what reserves do you have about it? Oh. Well, I, I wouldn't have any operations so I, if it was me. Mm. I mean, I can't be, I can't be, I yeah. can't feel how you feel mentally, but it's just like I wouldn't have anything the physically. The reason done why, like, I wouldn't want to have anything physically if I, you know, I wouldn't at all. Yeah, but the thing is, it's just it, for a lot of transgender people, it's mm. either we go through the transition or we commit suicide. That's that's it. Like forty percent, you know, transgender people commit suicide. That's mm -hmm. just yeah, and then the rest of them pretty much attempt it. Most of them do anyway. I've had a few of my friends recently, like... But only you know, if they feel... Well, that's, know, that's gender unstable. dysphoria. That's what transgender is, really. And it can be different, for, but most trans people do get gender dysphoria. And 
it's about absolutely hating the body that you're in. All right. It's like this feeling of like, I really hate the idea of being in the body that... But again, that's all in the mind. All, all in the, you can yeah, it's... That, well, you can't get rid of it because it's a neurological pathway. It's yeah, physical. But sometimes, sometimes yeah, but you, can't, you have to get over things. Yes, but you can't life. get over it unless you go through the transition because it's, it's there. It's in, it's in your brain. Like, you can't get over it. Well, I think as one gets older... One no, mellows. it's because it's. I'm born this way, and I will be this way. Yeah. And if fair. if and if I didn't go through the transition, there was you know a good chance. Like I know that if I didn't go through the transition, there's nothing else for me. I would just have to off myself in front of like I don't know. A train or something. I don't think you would. Yeah. Well, you don't fucking know though. Like you, you <laughs> laughed the other day when I'm I was laughing like, because it's ridiculous. It's not that ridiculous. You want to be doing. So, you've got so many, so much to I, do well, in I, life. I don't just. I know I've got much to do in life, and it's very inconvenient for me. Well, yeah, but, but now I just we've all be got things we're not happy. Yeah, but look, it's with. not just not being happy. It literally like I am not. That is not me. I do not feel like I am in my body. I feel very uncomfortable in my body. I feel very depressed in my body. And until I go through the transition, it's not just a fact of, oh, I feel like I look a bit, you know, like people don't like how they look or they think that they're a bit too fat. It's, it doesn't matter how fit I got in this body or how, like, you know, fit and exercise. body. I, yeah, that's, like, it's so uncomfortable, like, unbelievably uncomfortable being in the body I am now. And every day I wake up in the morning, and this is why I hate showers. Everyone always asks me, why do you hate showers? Because I have to get out the shower and I have to look in the mirror I have to see my body, which I do not at all, like I don't like getting changed, I don't like getting out of my clothes at all, because it's, it's gross the idea of having the body that I've got. And I'm never going to quite be a man, I understand, but I, I want to at least, you know, look like one and feel like one. I, the operations I'm going to get is just the chest one, I probably won't bother with um, failure plus me, if that's the word, no, yeah. yeah, because it is a weird operation, unless there's, yeah. unless there's advancements in the future that are much better, because I've got small breasts, thank you for your genetics, you mm. know, but, like, I know you say it's, it's ridiculous, the, the idea of getting the surgery, but mm. for most transgender people, it's either that or suicide, it really mm. is. Fair enough, I mean, lots of people have all this And obviously the, the surgery, not... Obsessive plastic surgery, Yes, but it's not, it's not like, like plastic surgery. We we want to get into a total. We don't want to change our. Bo it, we like just want to be in a male's body, just totally mm. like because it's very depressing just waking up every day in the wrong body. Or if I try and flirt with someone who's a gay guy, they're like, I'm sorry, like. Or if I'm like, you know, try and speak to someone who's like a gay guy, they're like, I'm sorry, I only like guys, and I'm like, well, I'm trapped as like a male. Well, why don't you do some gym work? Why do I do so? It doesn't work that way. You don't just become a male. Every day people are like... you can get all muscle. Every, yeah. You know, you can get muscle. But every I day when I, younger, when I go out... Do a lot of gym work. Every day when I go out, mm -hmm. people are like, oh yeah, this lovely lady. This, uh, this is why I quit my job. You want to job. be recognised as a, as a male. Yes, I just want to be a male and just be able to walk around like normal. Like a lot of people say, like, why don't you just focus on other stuff? Mm. Like focus on your work and stuff, and I even made a video saying try and focus on something, but it's never gonna like. Well, I I don't think you'll let you'll ever find what you want. Yes, I will. What you're looking for. What I'm totally. looking for is to just look like a male. I'm fine in my head. All I need is to ch the testosterone to get through it, and I know you're doubting it. I'm doubting myself. I have to do it every day. It's not that. I don't think you'll ever totally look like a male. Yes, you do. When you go through testosterone, you literally look exactly like a male. And don't say, I can always tell. Everyone always says, I can always tell whenever they're transgender. Oh, I can always tell. And then if someone looks really like a male, they say, oh, I could never guess you're tra you're, you were a female before. That doesn't matter. They're mentally male. Why can't you leave them be? Why can't anyone just be like, okay, this is what you want in life. You're 18. I'm 18 next week. 18 on Tuesday on June 13th, like, why why can't you just be like, you're an adult now, let you, let it be, like, you know, I've, I'm have i a very logical person, I'm never going to just do this because of the, oh, it's a fad, oh, it's this, it's that, I'm never going to do that, I thought about this for years beforehand, and I'd just like some support, really, from my family, because there's no way my dad would do an interview, because he doesn't agree with it, he thinks it's ridiculous, 
but like you know, it's a bit like that girl. Even though yeah, she's but, got all the facial hair, and she's going around with a beard. She wants people to accept her with a beard. Yeah, but it doesn't. That's that's that person. I'd be shaving it off. Yeah, but that's that person's <laughs> life, though, isn't it? Really, it's like I just want. I just all I really want from you, to be fair, mm. is just extra bit of support, because I, it's probably especially going through the transition. It's a very hard thing, and when they're going through the transition, a lot of transgender people, because of the stress of the hormones and stuff, yeah, that it's a very stressful time. That, yeah. They need someone there, but when they're after the hormones, they're usually happier with their life. Oh, okay. um, obviously, there are still some suicides after that, just because of other people making their life harder. Well, and I it's not really with transgender; it's think mainly you've got to be careful what it you is take ourself, as well, because that can make you suicidal. Certain tablets, can't they? Medication. Well, it's so. just testosterone. Right? Well, I don't know all the ins and outs of it. But, uh, no, but like, yeah, that's pretty yeah, much like. Yeah. So, how do you feel now? We've had a proper discussion because I try and tell you. Sometimes you don't like to listen to me. I'll stick my head in the sand. Yeah, you do <laughs> it a lot. Straight. You just like walk away from me, and then I'm well, like, I'm in a way. I'm just. Well, you. you know, yeah. When I like have my surgery, for example, I'm gonna need someone, you know, mm. there to like look after me after the surgery. Oh dear. Otherwise, I'm going to be fucking alone. Well, I'll always be there, whatever happens. You sure? I don't like, you know, operation type things. But yes, well, it'll be after the surgery and when I'm going through the surgery. I need someone because, I mean, Abby said she may come help me, possibly. She'll probably come visit and stuff. Um, wow. Well, she's been there for me more than you have, <laughs> to be fair. So... So how do you feel about it now? Are you gonna just support me and just be like, okay? Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm the one going through the operation. You're not the one going through it. No. You know what I mean? No. It's whatever. It's like you just got. I think you've just got to understand that, like, you have been better. Like, you know, you've been trying to call me Toby and stuff. Even if I just, you know, I don't want to hear you being like, oh, it's a bit ridiculous, isn't it? Though, because. I know I don't should I shouldn't have to take things, but it's just how I'm born. And to be fair, it is to do with the mother's womb as well as obviously like how the chromosomes interacted. But it is to do with how my brain reacted with the mother's womb. So I know you say, "Oh, I'm, I don't really want to hear about it," but you're the one who gave this to me in my, your genetics. You're the one who gave this to me, so you can't just be like, "Oh, I don't want to hear about it." You know, you're the you gave me the genetics to have be transgender or to not have the right body you know so maybe you could help me out you're the one who gave me the damn genetics it's all my fault no all you well <laughs> i mean it's not all your fault but you know i'm a good kid in general i'm that's not me being like but it is true everything's like, my fault <laughs> no but it is true like i'm a good kid in general there's nothing really i'm not exactly I sit in my room and I revise. That's pretty much all I ever do. But like, that's not true. I just we're out having fun all the time. Okay, I go out sometimes. Not recently. I've been, been in my out room shopping. I spent a week in my a room meal. last week. Yeah, I must admit, like, I want to get Getting Stella on, on a video sometimes because Stella's been really good. Yes. Um, a new jacket. Actually, two new jackets. All right. Um, Stella's been really good recently. Actually, I'm, I kind of want to get her on video. To be yeah. fair, uh, my grandma Stella, yeah. mum's mum. And you've you've been better than, you know, even my dad's mum's been good, to be fair. Mm. Everyone in this family's been surprisingly better than most families. Not, don't get me wrong, there are some families that will, like, beat the kids up or chuck yeah. them out. Yeah, in um, in America, a place like yeah. that. I know a few Why people. Why do they do that? That's not nice, is it? I know, but they just think it's... Th their parents are the ones who gave them the genetics. Surely they should Maybe be like... they're cruel to animals as well. <laughs> I'm joking. If, like, if I was getting, like, beaten up and tortured by something and an animal, like a fluffy bunny, was getting Aww. beaten up and tortured, Mum would go and she had to choose which one would stop That's being beaten true. up and tortured. She'd be like... The animal, please, because you know what? I prefer animals. No, that's you, not true. My, Your favourite child is Lucy, my cat. <laughs> I like animals generally. Yes, yeah, I, I know, you're talking to the crows on the way here. They're so sweet. It's <laughs> <laughs> not a dog. <laughs> <laughs> you were talking to the crows. Those people in the car park must have thought you were a loon. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> Okay, well you spoke to the crows and you were like, I wonder where their home was.
More than you feed me, and to be ginger, fair. And the two ginger cats. <laughs> Sometimes, like, she doesn't make me dinner, but she makes the crows dinner. <laughs> See, right. They so have apart the leftover from, cat food. Apart from some of our differences and views, I mean, you're not too different in, like, how you view it and everything. I still think, you know, we're, uh, like, like we're still, we still get on with it. You at least try and call me Toby. You try and remember, and he and stuff. I have to tell you a lot of the time, but... At least if you try and remember, it makes me feel more comfortable. Oh. That's it, really. Um, but I, I think there's a lot of people who are saying, like, where are your parents telling you not to be transgender? I'm like, well, they have reserves, I definitely. I don't think you can tell anyone not to do whatever, you know, yeah. it's a big mistake. I don't, it maybe, doesn't work. You know, you it really you doesn't work. No. Well, especially with, like, well, transgender, like, you're born from that. I've always known something's different. Um, Abby, my best friend, has known me forever, has always known something's different with me, that I'm not quite like everyone else. And it wasn't really, it was a surprise, but it wasn't really a surprise in a way, you know, to a lot of people I knew. Mm. Um, but yeah. At least we've got, like, like, we have a good relationship compared to, like, other people who come out as transgender with their parents. You're actually, like, you know, we're, we're quite, we're quite chill, to be fair. Well. What can you do? You can't change it. You've just got to go with it. you just got to go with it. Mm -hmm. And obviously you have reserves, you have your questions. I, I like I when you ask me questions, because yeah. I like to, you know, just inform you on how I'm feeling, what's going yeah. on. But sometimes you do stick your head in the sand, as you were oh, saying. I would love to stick my head in the and sand. And just not listen to it. Yeah, but sometimes absolutely. I need someone to talk to about yes. this stuff. I don't talk to anyone. I sit in my room alone really? most of the time. You don't have to. Obviously I've got my best friend, but like, you know, sometimes I don't see her all the time and I need someone to talk to. Mm. You don't like to listen, especially if it's about transgender stuff, but that's my biggest problem at the moment and exams, of course, but... Uh, well, exams, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot and that's it's a lot of stress recently, but uh, otherwise my family life is better than most people's, but I'm glad we had this sort of like debate about it. But yeah, just obviously, um, I, I do try and say always be cautious if there's a parent watching sometimes parents watch like do they? and they just watch because their kids come out or something oh dear. but yeah obviously um, your precautions are just about the surgeries I'd say wait till yes. they're about like you know would, wait till they're sure but I'm 18 now and I'm all, I was always well, like I wouldn't have any, any I was always operations, operations it's personally. gonna be like about 20 when I get my operation oh dear. and you know hopefully next year when I go through the transition so and you'll have a son how do you feel about that like when I you just have a son well when it happens because I will look just like a male that's what testosterone does they actually look exactly like one so what do you think is it gonna be weird to have like just a boy a son because obviously now I look like a female so it's still like having a daughter but when I go through it, like, I mean, it's not really still, like, exactly having a daughter, because I do everything a male does, except I just don't look like one. <laughs> um, but, like, it's going to be weird when I come back one year after. I thought I was supposed to be up there yeah, helping probably, you while you're going through you're it. Probably, no, it's uh, <laughs> after my transition, I'll have the surgery. Um, I have it after I've taken the testosterone. Whatever. Um, so I'll come back one time and I'll look like a male. Mm -hmm. Would that wouldn't that be weird? Because I'll look different. Well, mm -hmm. you look the same kind of thing, but you just look male version of your female version of yourself. <laughs> nothing will surprise. Do you think it'll nothing be, will surprise? Do you think me. it'll be different at all between us or between no, any of my? No, nothing will surprise me. It'll be weird family dinners because Christmas I'll have to go and to dinner with Joan and Jeff. And like Stella and stuff. Well, they Stella's all, fine, they but Joan and Jeff. Anyway. Anyway. Does he know? No one's bothered. Jeff doesn't know. Well, he's signed well, They to still get... call me Tear and stuff, so they might. Well, they do know, yeah. Maybe know they should call me Toby. Maybe someone know. should tell them. Yeah, they, I already have. Yeah, well, it's been like a while. <laughs> well, you know. They're elderly, aren't they? Yeah, I guess. i got to give it to them. They've been good. I told Joan I wanted to be a boy. We were there, you were mm. there. And she said. Do what you want. Like I should actually get her on camera as well. I think she she's was like, very concerned, like I am, about any 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 surgeries. Absolute, That's true. But I'm I, I have to, to go do. through the surgeries. I don't. You think I'd have done all the research and made sure I was sure. I made sure I was sure that that's what I wanted. Well, that's a few years away yet, so... But I, I will be, like, you know. sure anyway, yeah. I, I know. And I and I prepared for it. And it's actually, because i got such small boobs, like, it's nothing compared to, like, you know... Yeah. So anyway, I think that's been a good debate. Is there anything else you'd like to say? 
Uh, let's get some of those nice mountain bikes and go mountain. Biking. biking. Is that literally what you have to That's say? It. Yes, I'm desperate to get it. I got, to go mountain biking. I got my other daughter a, a lovely mountain bike, and I want one myself. We could mm. go. We could, that would be nice, wouldn't it? On a trail. Forget everything else and let's just go, go on a trail. <laughs> <laughs> on a couple of really thick, tired mountain bikes. All right, that then. Right, okay. <laughs> Random uh, thought, but anything else in that? No. Nothing really to add. We've had a good discussion no. about your thoughts on it, and no. I guess that's really all you have to think about no. it, really. I mean, at the beginning, you probably were a bit more confused on how it works, but now you know it's biological. It's not no, just a I, state I of mind. I know all about all these things. Have you had transgender friends? Uh, no, not really. Oh, that's the problem. The wor Well, we're like point one. Point one percent. Point not Yeah, one percent or something of the I'm world is transgender. Probably I less than that. So not judgmental on. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. The light. The light went dark. So we uh, chain. We put the light on. Anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, this was <laughs> this was really interesting. Like chat and everything like that. And it will probably just be. I just want to say like uh, there's certain like coming up to parents and stuff like that. You know. Just, I'll make another video on that and how, how that should be done best. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, subscribe to my channel, social media links down below. Say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching again. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>